Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The content in Foot Birthday is starting to heat up as a part of Foot Birthday team number two in the second week of the promo. We're starting to see the content get a little bit better because yesterday with the Ramos SBC and the year in review player pick, it seems like EA is kind of going back to a SBC content push during this second week. And I'm really thinking that it might continue throughout the rest of this entire week with good and better player SBCs and more of the gamble SBCs or the, especially what we learn to look forward to during foot birthday is the party bag SBCs that we all expect and honestly want to drop during this promo. We really don't have any new information about those yet, just that they were in the second week of foot birthday last year. So there's a lot of, I guess you could say, um, anticipation for how content could continue to be throughout the second week of foot birthday. Now today on Monday is even a big day as we'll take a look through the content we could be seeing today with another big time uh, foot birthday player SBC upgrade packs or player picks. And we still have Weekend League going on today, right? We don't actually have Weekend League rewards today on Monday. They're actually going to be tomorrow on Tuesday because of the Weekend League extension. I think that's going to impact the market just a little bit. And also, um, the market is a crazy, crazy place at the moment because of yesterday's content with the mini release, the, the year in review, and the Ramos SBC. A lot of the market is down even further. So we're going to take a look through all of that today in the video. If you're excited for a hype second week of foot birthday, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's, let's dive right in, right? In when we dive right in, I think what we have to do is actually take a quick look back to yesterday and talk about the content that we saw there because we saw something yesterday that we have not seen in a very long time. Well, two things actually. The first one, Sergio Ramos five-star skill SBC. This was leaked. We knew that it was coming. I honestly think that this card is just getting a lot of people's attention because it is a Sergio Ramos card. I know the pace doesn't look as good as it should or it could, but five-star skills is really cool. The dynamic image is awesome, and it's coming in at like, what, 520, 550,000 coins at the moment right now, so it's a little bit expensive, um, but I think I'm going to try to craft this over the next week just because this, this is more of a cool factor of a card. Ramos, this might be like one of his only special cards that he gets this year with his injuries. I know he's had the ones to watch. That was cool, a bit overpriced, but I think a lot of people are doing that because it's Ramos, right? But the real thing that was big for yesterday on the game was the year in review player pick. Now, this is repeatable two different times for the time that is out in three days. It's almost the exact same as the year in review that we saw a couple of weeks ago, except instead of stopping at the beginning of January for the new year, this added the SBCs between January 1st and the start of team of the year. So I think it added in like, I don't even know how many more it was, but I mean, this is just the start of maybe what is to come throughout the rest of this week is more of these gamble upgrade packs. We have not seen a party bag, a gamble upgrade pack like this. Like remember we were getting those, um, the, the future stars player picks where it was like previous versions of future stars in a player pick with their current FIFA 22 special cards. Those gamble SBCs were back a couple weeks ago. We haven't seen very many besides like an 84 plus player pick. We haven't really seen many of these SBCs and you can tell because again, the market reacted very heavily to this yesterday with a lot of prices actually going up in terms of SBC fodder and a lot of the meta players on the market dropping yet again in price. 85s are like 10,000 coins apiece. These guys were like 8K yesterday before this SBC dropped. And I really think that, again, this these price spikes that you saw on fodder for the low to mid tier, that was because of the year in review player pick SBC. You've seen some other of the higher tier fodder go up like a thousand, two thousand coins a card. Like the 88s went from like 25k to 26, 27. We haven't had the late night lightning rounds yet tonight on Sunday into Monday as I'm recording this. So these cards continue to just kind of inch up a little bit in price as people, I think people are doing Ramos. It's again, it's a mixed bag. You take a look, right? 3,100 thumbs up to 3,000 thumbs down. Some people like this because it's Ramos, because it's cool. PSG, very linkable five-star skills, great dynamic image. And some people don't like it because it's not fast enough. It's too expensive. Um, but I, I think this is liked enough. And I think if you actually take a look on Footbin and you see like the up and down vote on the SPC, uh, Ramos, wow, Ramos has a very different down vote percentage than like thumbs up to thumbs down on the card. That's really interesting to see. But 
One thing that we know about this is that the player SBC hype has drastically increased from what it was last week, right? I mean, you, you think of the SBCs that we had last week, like, like Laner, some of these are still alive too, right? Uh, the Declan Rice was not bad, and Dombele, very overpriced, right? Some of those SBCs that we had last week, not very many people were interested in, but it sounds like with this Ramos and then the SBC that we're getting today, Quaresma, sounds like they're kind of upping the ante on the player SBC side of things as well, which this card right here, although it's not going to be super duper linkable, and it's going to have to be a pretty cheap card, uh, for a lot of people to want to go and do this, as long as it's not too expensive, he's going to have hype because it's going to be a five-star, five-star Quaresma. This is a FIFA legend, right? A FIFA legend. He's going to be so good in game just because of the way his body type is and how he, he's always been, especially in a skill move meta. This card's going to be very, very, very good. So it's going to be a fun SBC today that I think a decent amount of people would be interested in if it is at a cheap price. Now, also today, we have the potential for upgrade packs. Yes, Mondays are always upgrade pack day. Now, last year during foot birthday, they had the 81 plus player picks that they dropped during week one of foot birthday. And then in week two, they also dropped the 81 plus player picks. Now, last week, we had the 80 plus player pick times three. Hopefully this week, they up that to the 81 plus and give us three choices. Um, or maybe they make it the 80 plus again times three. I just like having three options in the player pick instead of two, but also with the insane cards that are in packs this week for foot birthday team two, you already know that the biggest piece of hype uh, as a part of today's content is going to be people trying to go out and do player picks to try to pack these cards. Uh, and especially the guys that just got added into the mini release. Wow, Sancho is flying right now. He's up basically like 90,000 coins from his low point that he hit. Since we aren't seeing these late night lightning rounds, a lot of these guys have bounced up in price uh, a little bit. Some of these foot birthday cards after the panic selling that happened yesterday because of all the content. Uh, but this Sancho card, right wing, right mid, five star, five star. EA gave him the juice. I know he only has 82 shot power, but 92 finishing. Really good agility balance. That five star, five star with 97 acceleration. Everybody's looking at this card and they want to try him out. So with all these insane cards that are in packs, not to mention the Danny Alves, the Dybala, the Fakir, all these great cards that are out in the game right now, player picks or upgrade packs this week are going to have a huge emphasis on them as everybody is going to want to do that. Now, again, as we're kind of taking a look at this whole week in general and talking about this, you know, potentially, you know, the content heating up. This is the thing that everybody wants to see, and I think this is what we're looking forward to, and we honestly expect it, right, is the party bag SBCs. Now, we're really going to get confirmation these are coming when the packs get added to the code, unless they do some sort of player pick, because as you guys know, player picks don't have to be added into the code, only packs have to be added, but most of the time, party bags are packs. Last year, they had rule breakers, road to the final, record breaker, team of the group stage, foot freeze, headliners, future stars, what if, or foot birthday as a part of these um, party bags. Now, personally, I like party bags better when they aren't inclusive of all these different promos, right? I would be totally fine if they release a party bag this year that was Foot Birthday Team 1, Foot Birthday Team 2, Road to the Final, and Future Stars, right? The most three relevant, relevant promos that still have cards that are very, again, relevant to the stats, to the power curve in this game. That would be a great player pick. Also, EA Sports, if you want to do a Foot Birthday Team 1 or Team 2 guaranteed, just go all out this week, right? Just go all out this week with some of these gamble packs, the upgrade packs, make the SBC piece and, and part of Foot Birthday really come back to life because it started to come back to life with the Ramos, with the Quaresma that is uh, going to be coming today, and with the year in review that we saw yesterday, kind of bring that back, and that could make this second week of Foot Birthday really bang. I, I really, really hope for that because I want Foot Birthday to kind of return to what it's you know, honestly hyped to be. Again, last year we had a Renato Sanchez SBC. We had the uh, the Royce, right? Some people like that Payet. The Gervinho was cool. Just the player SBCs uh, last year were so much better with the Vidal, the Palacio that a ton of people love that card. Uh, the Ozil and the Podolski, right? We've talked about this already. We just need this week of content to be banging. We really, really do. Now, the content over the weekend with the glitches and the pack stuff that's been going on, and even yesterday with the year in review player pick and Ramos being out, the market has been impacted very, very heavily 
because of these things, a lot of prices on the market are still down a lot. And when I mean a lot, like some cards, uh, you know, the Ronaldo for birthday card started the weekend at 4.7 million coins. And right now he's like 4.3. He was in the 4.2 range before this. A lot of cards right now are just down literally everywhere across the market. And especially as we look through this weekend, we potentially have more of these gamble type SBCs like we did with the year in review player pick. One thing that I want to kind of bring back to life and, and mention about the market is that's going to be taking coins off of the market this entire week if the content is good. Last week, the SBCs weren't that great. All we had were player picks. We had some icon packs that were out that some people were kind of interested in doing and crafting, but not really that much. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people have already done the prime icon upgrade. A lot of people, myself included, have already done the mid or prime player pick, which does not refresh until Tuesday. Um, so we won't be able to do that again today. So a lot of people are just going to be looking for the SBC section, whether it's players, whether it's those gamble packs. I mean, yes, there is the possibility of a player of the month, um, Mbappe coming later on this week as well. So this week could be a huge SBC week. And that's why I'm taking the time to talk all this stuff through because I think SBCs are going to be the really the main focus of content this week. And I think if EA does structure it that way, then I think a lot of the market is still going to lose a, like more value. Again, that's going to drain a lot of coins off of the market. So as I take a look at a lot of cars right now, if you want to buy anything from Foot Birthday Team 2 for a longer stay in your club than just a day or two, then I would still I would be hitting the pause button on that 100%. Even if it's one of the brand new mini release cards like Sancho, even though he is incredibly hyped. Um, if it's Paqueta, if it's Danny Alves, Firmino, Fakir, a lot of these guys are very, very hyped and they are insane cards and everybody wants them in their team. I, I would try to push that off until later down this week because I really think that the potential this week for really good content and for people to be enthralled with the SBC section of this game and not so much the impacts cards, which would be the opposite of last week, right? Remember last week we had guys like Odegaard um, and Allen and Cruz and Nuno Menj. They were fluctuating up and down in price all the time, especially this Odegaard, right? Odegaard's down 50K. He was 425 yesterday. Um, Cruz is down in price. Nuno Menj is up just a little bit because of Ramos. Suarez is down. Grealish is down. So I think the market is going to lose more value this week if the content does get really, really good and continues to stay good. Now, again, one thing that we have to talk about too is when we get these gamble SBCs and gamble packs, let me again show you what happens on a day when that sort of stuff happens, right? So Kakare is 138,000 coins. The guy is down bad, right? Look where he was on the weekend. He was 200K on Friday, literally on PlayStation, 200,000 coins. He is right now 138K. We all know that the market is really down bad. The market is dying or bleeding as a lot of people want to say. It's crashing, right? We've talked about that the past two days and it's kind of continuing. Now, again, if we we, we, need to, we need to take from what we saw yesterday and really learn and apply this because this is something that we saw so many times during other promos. If you're trying to trade and make coins right now in this market, I know a lot of people are really trying to make coins because this is the stretch building up into team this season where I can, I can only imagine what the content's going to be like this year during a team of the season if ea go all out with the card stats that we're going to see with the cards that we have right now just imagine team of the season cards it's going to be cracked anyways when you see these types of sbcs dropped like the year in review or a party bag or some sort of gamble sbc like that that is like 200,000 coins or less that a ton of people are going to go out and do because it's easy cheap and you know fun right and you see panic selling like this we always watch for the rebounds, right? And this is something that we've done multiple times throughout the year already this year is buy in the panic sell and then sell a rare card after it rebounds back. I mean, take a look at this team of the group stage, Ronaldo. Team, this is, here's another card that was down yesterday, right? This guy was like a million coins, 1.02. He was down all the way at 950. I actually searched him up live on stream. He was 950, boom, bounced right back to 1.02. There's not a ton of profit in that, to be completely honest. And it's always a bit of a gamble when you're trying to find which cards are going to bounce back the most from a period of panic selling. Um, but if we take a look down this list a little bit more, I'm going to try to find somebody else. That I, where's where's Mares or Gareth Bale? Here's one. Gareth Bale yesterday. Uh, was was like 350k, 360. He dropped down to 330. It doesn't show it on the flipping graph. He was down to 330 and bounced back up to basically 360 where he is now. A lot of center backs yesterday um, went really low as well. Where's Kempembe? Kempembe is 690. 
Kempembe was down in the low 600s. Take a look at this. There was a bit of extra panic selling on this guy because of uh, Ramos, right? So he went from 719, 720K down to like 620 was his absolute lowest on the PlayStation and is now rebounded back, right? That's the, the, the sort of stuff that this week I want you guys to watch out for if you're trying to trade and make coins. Urente was 630. He's now back up to 670, right? Uh, Mares is down because of the... Sancho card. Some future stars were fluctuating a lot. Lacroix was down at like 730, 720. He is now rebounded back up. Gravenberch is still pretty low. Going to keep an eye on that. Pedri is actually still really low. Going to keep an eye on that. Um, here, where's another example? Chalmany was in the low 800s. Smith Rowe was like 500k flat. He's now back up to 530. Ferran Torres, I think, was even... Uh, this The striker version of this card was down in the 700s, I believe. Uh, yes, 800, 785. So he didn't really bounce that much, but this is the sort of stuff that I want you guys to watch this week. If you're trying to actively flip cards, trade and make coins. Ooh, this is a lot. Talk about Sancho, you know, hurting a bit of a car too. That that's the one thing you have to be careful with is if we're getting player SBCs this week, um, if it's a substitute item, right from that league or from that in that position, then that's where you can see some prices not rebound back as well. But I think this is going to be your best opportunity to trade this week is buy cards that are panic sold. And then especially if they're really rare and really popular, you will see them bounce back in price because people will go back and, and buy them, right? Hakimi is 680. He was 630 at one point yesterday. Donnarumma with the links to uh, the brand new Ramos was down at like 175. He's back up at 205. So just, just keep an eye on this stuff, whether it's cards from Foot Birthday Team 1, right? Since they're out of packs, this would be the sort of stuff that if you see panic selling like there was yesterday again Odegaard was 425 he's now back up to 450 um, or Tony Cruz is like low 600s he's now back up to 670 that's the sort of stuff that I would really look at into this week and try to trade and make some coins I know we just looked at flipping for a really long time but to get back here on the menus um, th that's that's really what I would do this week now a couple other things that are going to be throwing some wrenches into uh, how this week is going to look content wise is all the compensation that we have. We still have people right now uh, that packed Icon Moments cards, myself included, right? Um, Icon Moments cards from the mid or prime player pick that are awaiting compensation for those items that they packed incorrectly, you know, um, at some point in this week. I, I think the compensation probably at the earliest would be maybe late today on Monday, but honestly, I, I would expect it to be more of like a mid to later in the week sort of thing because it's going to take an EA a while to figure out whose accounts were messed up and who they need to, um, you know, give stuff back to because of all the accounts that were affected by those pack glitches that happened earlier on this week. So I, I think it's going to take a while for them to do that compensation, but that's also going to play a factor on the market this week as people are, are awaiting those foot birthday cards from team one, right? Team one of foot birthday. I would, I would say be careful with this week because so many people are going to look to pack these cards and have a, uh, another um, of those foot birthday team one packs that uh, was giving out team two cards. Um, that was the first glitch that happened on Friday. So I'd be a little bit not super duper worried. Um, but for the mid to low tier of foot birthday team one, I just keep an eye on that because some of these cards might get packed some more. Maybe a guy like Grealish could drop a little bit because he was a very popular card that was packed the first time around in those packs. I saw a lot of Grealish Obviously, a lot of Guerrero, not very many. Alan Cruz, Odegaard, a few Nuno Menge, uh, but mostly it was like Daka, Bibu, Torreya, Di Lorenzo, stuff like that. Maybe Di Lorenzo you were a little bit careful with just because he might get um, packed a little bit and, and, and that might be somewhere where you see a price drop. But also with the mid-prime player pick, you have a lot of people that are just waiting to get that extra player pick back, myself included. Now that that's going to really impact the market a lot because all of those are going to be untradeable items that are that are gifted back like those packs that'll be re-gifted those will all be untradeable but still you have so many people waiting for that content to be placed back onto their account um sometimes people just wait for that stuff and then they go out and they do sbcs or buy cards because they're, they're just waiting on that compensation and that's just going to be a big story of of this next upcoming week on this game so honestly i know right now it's a bit of a weird timing right usually on sunday nights and monday mornings we expect a market rise right and i've got a lot of my coins liquid at the moment because 
you know, some of these cards were potential buys tonight. I thought they were going to run lightning rounds again, so I was kind of focusing on that potential. I was looking to, to, to pick up a Sancho, and the fact that they did not run that lightning round uh, has now got this Sancho guy going up in price um, because... He is 930, 940,000 coins, and he was like 860. So a really nice rise here on this card. Some of your other foot birthday team two players, I really wasn't going to trade with that much, um, but some of them have gone down. I sold a Dybala yesterday, uh, like 1.33, and he is he is now down in price. Paqueta is down. Danny Alves is down a bit. Uh, so some of these cards might rise up a little bit today, but I'm not really expecting a huge rise um, un unless it's very investor-driven on some of these cards because i mean there's no rewards and i really think that what drives a lot of the market going up on mondays is that rewards time period i know a lot of people might have already finished their foot champions um and i can't even see the time frame because i'm not qualified but i know the foot champions was extended this weekend so it's actually still going on today on monday so that's going to kind of mess some things up because people got their rewards they go out and they and they buy cards so you still might see a little bit of a rise on the market today i just don't know if it's going to be as drastic or as crazy um, as a normal Monday. So it's going to be a great week of FIFA. I honestly think that it is, but it's going to have to start today with the upgrade packs. 81 plus times three player picks EA, do it, okay? And then bring more gamble SBCs. Just, just kind of spice it up, right? Bring back the good OG foot birthday vibes that we know and love from last year with the party bags, some gamble packs, good upgrade packs, and crank up that uh, player SBC hype. And it'll be a good week of foot birthday for the second week in FIFA 22. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you lost some coins, it's going to be all good. I know a lot of us have, myself included. I know the coin total is higher than it's ever been. Uh, the last couple weeks have been insane. But with this market downturn, it was almost inevitable to lose some coins um, because all the prices that were dropping. So if you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. But it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.